We're now going to come to the motor system in the legs and this is pretty similar to the arms. The first thing we do is we inspect the legs and here again we're looking for wasting, we're looking for fasciculation and then we're going to do tone by moving the, the joints at the knee and hip and then at the ankle. and that's normal. We're now going to test power and this can be done lying or sitting and my personal preference is to do it sitting. Could I ask you to sit up Hugh over the edge of the bed? And again it's exactly the same principles. We're going to make the muscle act, we're going to stabilize it and we're going to try and overcome it. So we're going to start with hip flexors and this is the most important muscle in the lower limb and it's the most sensitive to change in the weak making parts of the nervous system. Could I ask you to lift your knee up? No, just, uh, just like this. Keep it up. I'm going to stabilize the leg at the hip and I'm going to press down on the knee. It's normal. And now the same with the other one. Keep it up, push hard, and that's normal. Now knee extension is the next muscle I'm going to test. Could you straighten your leg out, stabilize it by putting your hand underneath and use the leg as a lever and that's normal. Same with this one. Good. Could I ask you to bend your knees now against the bed? So we're making, this is knee flexion we're testing. We're making the muscle work and we're trying to overcome it. And the other one, keep it back and don't let me straighten it out. Good. Now finally, ankle dorsiflexion. Just could you bring your ankle up like this and don't let me push it down. And that's normal. And now the other one, bring it up, stabilizing it at the ankle. Don't let me push it down. Okay, good. I'm going to also just test big toe dorsiflexion because this is a muscle which is innervated by L5 and it's a good, it's a common muscle to be involved in a lumbar disc disease. Could you bring your big toe up and don't let me push it down? Exactly the same principles. Make the muscle act, try and overcome it. And that's normal. We're now going to go on and do tendon reflexes. Could I get you to lie back, Hugh? Now the two tendon, if you just put your head on the pillow, the two tendon reflexes are at the knees and the ankles. To do the knees, I put my hand underneath the knees and we're going to hit the patella tendon here. And again, we're trying to compare one side with the other. Good. And to do the ankles next, now the ankle jerk is probably the most difficult physical sign to do in the neurological examination. And we do that, I do that by trying to get the leg as relaxed as possible at the hip by flexing it and letting it fall out, at the knee by flexing it. And then the next thing is to put the ankle at exactly the right stretch. You don't want to overstretch it and you don't want to understretch it. You just have to put it till it's just feeling a stretch and then with the patella hammer hit the tendon like that. And again, the same with the other one. Bring it up like that, let it fall out put it on the stretch, just the right stretch, and hit the tendon. Now sometimes it's, not, it's very difficult to get an ankle jerk, and then we have to use a technique which is called reinforcement. So could I ask you, Hugh, to put your hands together like that? Now don't do anything at the minute, but when I say pull, I want you to pull hard. Pull, and with, and relax, and again pull, and with that technique, it's possible to convert a doubtful ankle jerk into one which is easily seen. Now, finally, we're going to do the plantar reflex. Now, this is a very important reflex in neurology. And it's important because an extensor plantar response is a very sensitive and a very specific sign of an upper motor neuron lesion. So that's why it's so important. And we do this, it's a reflex, it has two um, limbs. The first thing is sensation. And if we could just look at the foot here. The bit of the foot with which we stimulate is along the lateral border of the foot, going across the forefoot here. So that's, it's that line there that we get the sensory stimulus. The motor stimulus is the movement at this joint here, the first metatarsophalangeal joint, and whether it's flexor or extensor. 
So that's, that's the reflex. We start this reflex with minimal pressure. Some people have exquisitely sensible, sensitive feet and they don't take kindly to having very sharp objects stuck into them. So always start by stabilizing the foot with one hand, getting the toe relaxed, and then applying a pressure like a finger pulp, and nothing happens. So the next thing is to use something more like a fingernail. And the first movement of this toe is down. Like that, good. If that doesn't work, then one can use a sharper object like a bit of stick or a key. And again, I'm just going to demonstrate this very gently. And that shows that the toe is firmly flexed. So I'm going to do the same with the other foot now, again. And let me just do that again, Hugh, I'm sorry. There, that plantar response is flexed. And that concludes the examination of the motor system.